Hey everybody, it's Steven Get Money Myrick here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about equipment within Street Fighter Duel. Uh, I've heard a lot of questions about equipment. You know, does it, as I level it up, do I lose anything? Is it even? You know, what kind of equipment should I do? How do I do it? So, in this video, I have a nifty little chart I've gone through and I've calculated XP requirements for every single piece of gear. So, I'll be sharing that chart with you all, as well as just talking about gear in general. So, even though I still haven't gotten a haircut, uh, and I haven't taken care of that. I have taken care of the gear for all of you. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. Oh, but one quick thing. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you're subscribed. Only 3% of my people watching my videos right now are, are subscribed. So if you're one of those 97% that aren't, I'd really appreciate it. I'm putting a lot of hard work into these charts. And if you like Street Fighter Duel and you want me to continue making uh, excellent information like this, please, please consider subscribing. So I wanted to start with the table because I feel like this is the most helpful part that if you're watching this video, this is what you're most interested in so I want to start with that first so I've gone through and I have looked at every single piece of equipment and gear that you can get uh, within the game uh, and looked at how much experience it gives you and how much it costs to upgrade so here I have the item name as well as the base XP value so if you were to use one of these items as food to level up a different item you know how much would it be worth so for example a purple a gear is worth 500 XP so if you wanted to level up to level one of a purple A gear, you would have two uh, two purples together would get you a level one purple. Anything that's grayed out here is something that you cannot level up. So obviously the accessories that are just used for XP, those don't level up. And then gray and green gear, you can't level up. So that's really only for early game players. Most people are pretty soon going to be looking into the SS gear. And that's the kind of gear you'll be looking at leveling up. But just so you're aware, you know, purple gear only goes to level four. It doesn't have a level five. Uh, and you know gray and green can't level up at all another important thing to call out because I wasn't really even aware of it is that if you have the SS gear the red SS gear uh, You don't actually have to level it up to get at SS plus one or SS plus two all you need and I say all you need because they're definitely hard resources to come by is these uh, engraving stones. So a plus one engraving stone and a plus two engraving stone. And it's worth mentioning, I call out here, you cannot take a plus one, in, a plus two engraving stone and put it directly onto SS equipment. You have to do it to plus one first and then do it to plus two. And the big reason I put this chart together and the question I really had was as I level stuff up, you know, do I lose anything? And I want to let you know that you do not lose any XP when you're leveling up gear. So for example, a purple A leveled up all the way to level four is going to give you the 4,800 materials that it is to upgrade it as well as the 500 that is as a base. So it'd be a total of 5,300 XP for a level four purple gear. So uh, you don't lose anything by just feeding gear into gear, which is very good. But I say that with a caveat, you don't lose any XP, you do lose money, okay? So if, for example, you know, you put this together, it's 5,300 XP and you fed it to level up a blue B plus for some reason, right? You would have 4,100 XP left over. And so they would give you rare accessories equaling that 4,100 XP that you have left over. So you don't lose any accessory XP. But what they don't give you is the $360,000 difference. So actually, as I was going through making this chart, I actually lost about $10 million dollars. Or whatever the in-game currency is called i lost about 10 million resources i didn't actually end up like leveling up all these you could just get the numbers uh but as i was going through you know just testing all this making sure it all worked uh, yeah i lost about 10 million in cash so that is something to be aware of if somebody says it doesn't cost you anything to level up gear and then revert it and use it for something else's food uh you do lose the money and the prices honestly are pretty expensive you can see just it is orders of magnitude uh, more expensive on this SS gear than even just like this base yellow S gear. It definitely adds up, especially early game. Uh, it's hard for me to level up all my gear. I don't have it all leveled up, so it's just something we're accumulating and getting stronger at. But I thought this table would be helpful for anybody that is just curious like, hey, do I have enough gear or what are the requirements and do I lose anything? So you don't lose the XP, but you do lose the money. Oh, and one final thing before I move out this chart, uh, just so you're aware, the factional gear, so like here we have the lightning faction down the bottom for the red SS plus two, uh, does not cost any more XP to level up and it does not give any more XP if you were to use this food. So like a, a lightning SS gear would also be worth 8,000 XP. So that was just another question I had that uh, you might have had and now you have the answer to it. Diving into the game, I think most of this part is self-explanatory, but I did just want to show it off. 
uh, you know, you can click on any piece of gear up here and you'll see two different things. There's a level up button here and you can see that there's a tab to not uh, use SOS equipment if you want to. You can see that, you know, this here is giving me 37,590 experience versus 2,090. So a leveled up piece of gear definitely giving you a lot more. Uh, also within the gear, there's this engraving tab here where if you have this plus one valiant engraving, right, it makes the gear plus one. I think it was clear from the chart, but if it's not, you do not have to level up more XP on SS gear. Like it just gives it the bonus. And you can see there is a big jump. And actually I have an image, give me one second here. I have an image of a SS plus one going to an SS plus two and the boost is huge. Yeah, this is a uh, friend of mine, daddy. You can see the power, I mean, this is humongous. The attack increase the, and uh, just the power increase going from plus one to plus two. So definitely if you're not prioritizing plus one pieces and plus two pieces, definitely keep your eye out for them because you can tell this is a big, big boost. Uh, but that's all I was really going to cover in this video today. You know, there are the items that let you change. And I think I have one in my bag. Give me one second here. They'll let you change the factional bonus. So this transformation scroll. So you used to randomly change the faction bonus for SS grade or higher equipment, excluding legendary factions. So if you have a lightning that you want to switch to something else, you can do that. And uh, this is what the plus two item looks like. So you can see I can use it here to get uh, one of these to get a plus two engraving so you know lets you choose and that's really all there is to know about gear to my knowledge ss plus two is the highest gear right now but you can bet your bottom dollar we will be getting ss s gear sss plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five i just can't see a world where we don't keep getting stronger gear especially as the game goes on so uh if you're looking for advice on what to invest in obviously prioritize any gear that is on your carry hero uh, someone that's doing the most damage, obviously prioritizing SS gear over anything else. And honestly, you can unlock it pretty quickly by doing campaign uh, so that you can start getting drops for it and getting stuff from the shop. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully you found the chart helpful. Again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you're subscribed. And I will see you all in my next True Fire Duel video. Bye.